converging light. Ishola gazes out into the distance. Right, no more musing. We have taken far too long as it is. Our friends await us in Yulmor, yes? Let us hurry and join them. Alright, I'll teleport over to Yulmor, and then I think it's time for a break. So I'm... Oops, wrong way. Teleport over to Yulmor. And get myself set up for a break. And then... When we come back, we'll continue on with MSQ. Anyway, I'm going to talk to everyone else first. Tis my pleasure to report that we accomplished our task without further bouts of fa faintness. A fate we attribute to Tara's most generous gift. We are starting to worry, but I see we shouldn't have, no? Ah, there you are. Eventful trip. Yes, very. You certainly took your time. Did something happen? So, the rumors have reached this far. Yes, people have been talking about little else of late. Oh, if it isn't brilliant, I confess I may entirely, I may not entirely, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But with you and your friends here, I'm sure it will all be alright in the end. We have, been, we have been apprised of the situation. Suffice it to say, we have can ill afford to lose able-bodied citizen during this vital period of rebuilding. It appears we are fashionably late. Come, our tale will not wait. Save its voice. Forgive us our lateness. Master Chai, my congratulations on your appointment. By all accounts, you are a capable mayor. Oh, I have capable friends, my lady. I must say, it's good to see you looking hale and whole again. The credit for that lies with my own capable friend, without whom I might never have escaped my abductor. Wait, how did they even find out about it? Oh, okay, they didn't yet. I thought we had missed something. A primal? I suppose that would explain why Elizabeth has been fostering faith in the Warrior of Light. While you were enjoying your audience with the wandering heart of Zodiac, we were busy dispatching the last of the Black Master Asians, a task which proved almost insultingly easy. Formidable though we undoubtedly are, they were obviously sent to provide encouragement for budding heroes. One cannot help but wonder how many times the ploy has been used before. Master Chai, you mentioned that the people of Calusia are similarly enamored of the Warrior of Light. Indeed, though it's hardly surprising given the state of the world. Many are still struggling to find a purpose, and it's only natural that they should take comfort in the tales. Then the fever has spread to every corner of Norvrant. We may have dealt with his black-masked minions, but it is plain Elidibus has yet to show his hand. Oh my! What a spectacular sky! What's it gonna be? It's gonna be another meteor shower? Oh yeah. Trying to awaken more echo. Another star shower. Wait. What's that? 
Wait, what? Amarat. Oh. Hear, feel, think. Did you hear that? That voice calling out? No, I didn't hear anything, but... Why do I feel so... like I've lost something dear to me? Does Elidibus seek to awaken more people to the Echo with clearer visions of the final days? What is going on? I shall deliver the world from its doom. And who might you be? They've come for our heads! No, you don't! Ha! They are not of flesh and blood. I could have told you that. I know this magic. Of course you would, nerd. The rings are like unto those that the Exarch did employ in our summoning. Are you saying the Exarch is summoning them? Nay, yet the similarity can be no mere coincidence. Ha! Should we make a stand here, or retreat to the Crystarium? Ether churns around us. More of them will appear ere long. To stay would only place innocence in harm's way. We must fight this battle elsewhere. Wait! Take one of our airships. You can decide what to do on your flight to the Crystarium. You are a capable leader in your own right, Master Chai. The citizens of Yulmore chose well. It's settled then. To the airship! The Hero's Gauntlet, now accessible. Yeah, I should definitely do this with NPCs. Those are the first dungeon. Glad I took a break when I did. I'll definitely be tanking it again. Alright, who are we gonna take this time? How about. Let's see, yeah, uh, for a healer. Yeah, I think, is this the group I took last time? I kind of want to take Reen instead. Here we go. So there's a melee and a range DPS. I mean, technically, Red Mage is both, but it doesn't matter that much. Well, let's check. Time to start the Hero's Gauntlet. Let's get started. Damn it! 
Hang on to something. The crash landed on Meringue. And then make her way up north there to head towards the Crystarium. Yeah, you show them, Reen. Make Dad Crit proud. I guess you're probably new. Typical black man. I guess I should have just pulled them all, shouldn't I? But well, I never, I never, I haven't done this dungeon yet. I get mad at myself for not knowing the next pack is two feet away. Okay, the Kassard and Gengen. You guys are gonna help us out. Is this gonna be between the two, um, the two sides? You guys are actually hitting it a little bit. But I mean, I've got my heal to full health buttons, so we're fine. That's a pretty hefty pack.
Mount Agree Mine. Our guy mines. Who are we facing here? Just some spectral? See what that means. Oh, okay, that's cool. Chicken knife? Okay, it's stat, the stack markers. Uh, the slices happen on top. Oops. Little too close. The pizza slices are up here on each of us, so if we stack, it'll only be in one place. When will you learn to call, you lovely branch? Thank you, Veolul. Okay. Wait, why are we here now? I don't think Alpha Node's a pretty good healer. Oops, that was a waste.
Again, wasting my beast cage. Mr. Frog Knight's actually helping us this time. I believe he was one of the bosses in the uh, the frog dungeon. Wait, my brave sapling. I gotta. I think I thought I did her voice decently that last phrase I did, but not that time. Yeah, we'll make our way across. Where's the castle? The castle should be here, but it's not. Got a new mo in tomorrow. I don't know how we're over here now, even though we were in Amarang. Now we're in. Uh, what's this place called again? I completely forgot what this place is called. Heal Meg, that's what it's called. Warriors just feel so good to play in dungeons. And since I'm not forgetting to actually use raw intuition, I basically just get to he do f heal the full health every 30 seconds. Spectral Necromancer. Yeah, well, you're gonna. You're, I'm gonna be the one that. Ah, I can't think of a good pun for this. Do something about raising the dead, but I'm gonna be killing them instead. Doesn't look like any of the NPCs are running away. I will not hold back. I think they're stacking. Considering that they're running away from their zombies, I probably shouldn't be standing next to them. This is going to leave a mark. I don't understand these mechanics. I, under I figured out how the other one works, but this one it looks like I just don't do anything. I should get away from him. I will not hold back. 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. But he's almost dead anyway. He's almost dead. No, oh, come on, Re Rain, you don't need to LB here. You have my gratitude, Feu. So how we went from south below to the south of Lakeland to the north of Lakeland, and now we're coming out of Ilmeg. Trying to be very careful to actually get the entire pack. Okay, I keep on pressing F. Let's let's press F. Come on. Wasting base piece gauge again. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Getting some useless materia. Of course. I get all of them except the last one on the list. I should probably just start from the bottom. Is there only going to be one pack for this part? Oh, I just realized Lou Reek and some of the other, um, Lou Reek is helping us from the, um, tank? Yeah, because healer was yacht. wonder if it changes depending on which role you're doing. That would be really cool. Oh. I don't know where I'm supposed to stand there.
Okay, it should be near the end of the dungeon now. Distant ideals, spectral something, and I forgot to read it. It's got a cool design. Looks like some sort of like beast warrior thing. Oops, wasting wasting attacks. Spectral berserker, that was it. I just realized I said this was 30 seconds, now it's every 25 seconds. Apparently I can dodge that. That's what I thought it was gonna do. Oops, <laughs> don't wanna fall in. I'm supposed to stand in the rocks? interesting. I can dodge that. I remember. I learn. Oh, whoops. I clicked outside of the window somehow. I'm not in a window. I'm full screen. Aim right here. That didn't do what I thought it would. I thought it was supposed to knock you back. Gotta hide. No, no, uh, Alvinard, you can leave the healing to me. I'm fine. Heal everyone else. Wow, that hit me. Okay, not like it matters. Oh, Serene, you should probably LB now. She LBs the other two bosses, even at like 0.2% health, and then she doesn't LB this boss. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter.
Oh, that was the hero's gauntlet. That was pretty fun. I didn't understand the mechanics on the second boss, though. First and third bosses are pretty easy to figure out. I think that's the last of them. Apparently even they have limits. Nevertheless, we should remain vigilant. Urianger, something occurred to me while we were fighting. These enemies. Our heroes hailing from other shards. Summoned hither to deliver this world from its doom. Scant moments after the star shower did they appear, as yet more souls were inspired to walk the hero's path, no doubt. Thus did hopes for salvation of realms near and far resonate and converge, lending still greater strength unto our adversary. Yay. So that's Elidibus's game. But first things first. If the rings are the same as the Exarchs, then we need to ask him how that's possible. The Crystarium is close. Let us press on. Maybe that can hold the clue to how we can send them back to the source. They come. So near and yet so far. Isn't that the paladin we saw in the cutscene before? Or warrior? Whatever class that is. In the chaos of conflict, one can always find an opening to exploit. <laughs> Whoever taught you that is a wise man indeed, and good with a gun blade. But yes, I dare say we can create an opening wide enough for at least one of us to slip through. Of course, that's going to be me, because I'm the main character, of course. That being you, of course. Yes, yeah, so of course he knows. Follow in your wake. Reen and I will keep our guests occupied. Brave and selfless as ever. Yet the two of you may struggle to fool our foes, etherically sensitive as they are. Had you a comrade who could use destructive magics to wreak havoc upon the ambient ether, on the other hand? <laughs> Very well. I too shall assist in the diversionary effort. Oh, not this old dance again. Yes, obviously, I'll stay and fight. No, no, you can go run away I'm with me. I'm about to do a great many stupid and reckless things. Watch my back, would you? And there you have it. Take care of yourself, my friend. We get a nice big opening, eh? You don't have enough lives for this. Use your magic sparingly, do you hear? Yeah, let's just do that. We'll do our best. Finished, then let's begin. Short while earlier in the ocular. Uh oh, what did he do?
Tis done. Oh, let me see, let me see! Oh, yes! Your memories are preserved safely when they... We've done it! We've done it at last! I have inspected the other vessels. They are all ready to receive of our friends' memories. Oh, excellent! Excellent! I shall have my familiars bear word to them at once! <laughs> Elidibus. It was not until I observed the battle between Emmet Selk and the Warrior of Darkness that I realized what I must do. Oh, okay. He's going I to die. I summon heroes from other worlds unto the first, just as you did. But his memories will be preserved in the crystal to be sent back Their to young Grahatia. shall serve to empower me, granting me the strength to crush my enemy. Though it pains me to disappoint you, I feel compelled to explain that the magic in question requires no small amount of preparation. Ah, but you assume I require my champions to be summoned in their entirety. I do not. Their souls needn't even be whole. My purpose requires no more than their burning desire to vanquish evil. This I shall sear upon the ether, raising thereby an army of phantom heroes to whom I shall whisper, as I have to so many over the ages. Here lies darkness. It must be destroyed. And you expect me to cooperate? No, not really. I do not require your cooperation. Your death will suffice. The magic I shall have from your corpse. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go, Lucas! We must flee! Uh-oh. Oh, and then he gets the memories, okay. It's slightly off the mark. My friend, how did you? No matter, Elidibus, he took us unawares. It was all we could do, to raise a war to hinder his steps, and so we fled. But he took it. 
of the vessel with the Exarch's memories. Forgive me. Forgive me. The vessel bears not only my memories, but my blood. The blood of Allegan royalty, granting him the means to control the tower. Elkfred. With it, he has performed I know not how many summonings, calling forth heroes from across the rift. And, as you can see, the burden upon the tower is beginning to tell. Make sure to stay that way, Grandpa Tia. We still gotta transfer your soul to the young Grandpa Tia. If you mean to face him alone, I will not allow it. Not this time. Bruh, you're literally like half a crystal now. <sighs> Elidibus has exploited the people's nobility, twisted their purest intentions for terrible ends, and I cannot let it stand. As Exarch, it is my duty to protect them, to defend their hopes and dreams. So I am going to the Crystal Tower, with or without your blessing. Though, I would rather it were with. Thank you. I joined you, but I would only be a burden. Better that I remain here with my gremlins. I shall send help. Stay strong, my friend, and take heart. By binding Elidibus within the tower, we have done more than simply delay him. Much like our adversary, I am not wont to show my hand prematurely, but the time has come to bring my strongest card to bear. To the tower! With your permission, I would make a brief stop at Ascensure Gate. Just long enough to send the guard to Bicklug's aid, you understand? Were it not for them, they, we would never have escaped Elidibus, much less with the spirit vessels. Though mine fell into our foe's clutches, Bicklug gathered us up the rest at great risk to themselves. I must say, I must see that they are safe before we press on. Enough good people have given their lives that I must fulfill my duty. I'm playing Shadowbringers in the background. Oh. Let's head over to the gate. Talk to the nervous guard. Warrior of Darkness! Exarch, forgive us this partly greeting. Paltry greeting. We were not notified of your coming. It wasn't planned. I need you to assemble a rescue party. Our friend Becklug lies wounded in a clearing to the west. Pray go to their aid with all haste. At once, my lord. M may I ask they came how they came to harm? There have been reports of enemies in our midst, specters who appeared after the star shower. Did they have something to do with it? Yes, the man who attacked Bekluk is also responsible for the star shower and the appearance of the specters. I have no time to explain, but know that the individual in question does not seek to do indiscriminate harm. 
If you do not bar it, his servant's path, they will not turn on you. They will not turn on you. You are to leave this foe to us, understood? Meanwhile, I will ask that you alert the rest of the guard and focus on maintaining calm in the city. Understood. Lena. I shall take charge of matters in the city. Find Beklug now. No time to explain. <laughs> the graver the matter, the less inclined you are to speak of it, even when it is plain to see, for all to see, like what is happening to you. Lena, this time truly is no time. I know, my lord. What matters otherwise, where matters otherwise, I believe you would even be willing to speak of your past if pressed. Yet, I remain afraid to do so. Afraid that what I might learn would make a stranger of you. Forgive me. There is no time. Perhaps a few words are in order. We need to get going. I don't think either of these are going to do anything. But I'll try and get more exposition. Indeed. Time must be made. Lena, do you remember the time you got lost in the tower when you were little, and I searched for you for hours on end? And the cake I baked for your tenth name day, that hideous lump the good people of the mean covered up with beautiful candles? And, you hapless for, and your hapless first encounter with the Sin Eaters as a guard. Afterwards, you threw yourself into your training, pretending nothing was wrong, though I could see the tears in your eyes. All these moments that we shared, all the feelings that accompanied them, they are as real as aught that came to be before, and nothing more, and nothing will ever change that, will ever change when what we mean to one another. If I have made you worry, then I beg your forgiveness. Heavens know you deserve better. Through the darkest of times, you have kept faith in me, standing tall as a proud daughter of the Crystarium, as an example to us all. I count myself blessed to have had you in my life, and I want you to know that. Why do you speak so? As if you were this were our last meeting. Truly, you have a knack for making people worry. Yeah, man. You always do this. Besides, it is you who are an example to us all. You have led us through countless trials, and you who and you who will lead will lead us through countless trials to come. So go, my lord. Do what you must, but take care. <laughs> 